What's up, everybody? Y'all been wondering where I've been. Well, I uh, hurt my back again, so I'm having another surgery, and uh, that's coming soon. Uh, I haven't really paid a lot of attention out here. As you can see, we got algae, and we got, you know, a lot of stuff going on. But uh, I don't really know what this video is going to be about, other than uh, my apology to y'all for not putting out videos. Uh, it's just been my health, so I'm trying to get better. Um, I've had a lot of questions. Hey, when's your next video coming out? And I'm like, I don't know. So, anyway, guys, I guess we can take a spin, look around in the fish room, uh, kind of see what's going on. I've got some things that we're going to be moving around here soon. Uh, they have my back surgery scheduled for, I think it's like 10 days from now, something like that. It's Sunday, January 27th. Sound about right? So probably next week I'll be uh, under the knife and getting better, finally. I've had a hard time walking, getting around, that kind of stuff. So anyway, let me spin this around, kind of show you all what's going on. So since I've been neglecting this so hard, we had duckweed. Duckweed. Duckweed is the enemy of all plant lovers. <laughs> Uh, still got goldfish in here, that's why you see little patches missing. Uh, they're eating it up, but yeah, I mean, in all reality, I should not have this much duckweed in here, and I do. Uh, you can see we got some algae on the tank right here behind me. This good old Bamp. What's up, Bamp? There's this old lady. These guys are just pigging out. They got food floating around. Got the Neolamper Longus Bichardi. They're breeding down there, very shy. Uh, the lights should already be off and they know it. A little flower horn in here somewhere. There he is. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. I'm trying to get you a good shot of him. Anyway, he's a pretty guy. Just got algae on the tank. Uh, more duckweed issues. You know, uh, Geophagus brasiliensis in there. Got a little Oscar living in here. It's a pretty cool little dude. More duckweed. Uh, the pothos is doing great though. See that? Yeah, we got pothos like everywhere. So that's doing great. I'm doing the water change, so I'm gonna move this way and cut the water off. And you just see algae in my reflection. You just see algae everywhere. There's a flower horn in there somewhere. Uh, I got another flower horn in here. He is back there in the corner. And he ain't gonna come out and see us. Yeah. I just got some bristle nose playfuls in there. That's why the big mess of wood, the chew and the toya, just marimos in that one. Uh, the little boy down here is doing pretty well. Uh, more duckweed. Don't get duckweed. I made that mistake years ago and I'm still paying for it. Um, anyway, I've got a Mirax now trying to escape. Alright, so there's those little 10 gallons. I've only got a few fish in here. Not a lot going on, but uh, nothing really spectacular. Baby convicts and platies and stuff. But the pothos, that's doing great. Uh, all the cubes are full of guppies except for, and you can see, there's plants missing there, 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 and there. And that's because the flower horn had actually ate the plants. Don't ask me why. Little babies. And the 240, these guys just got fed, so the water looks like hell. Um, the sump is doing its job, so it's clearing up, it just takes a while. All the shell dwellers are doing great. <clears throat> uh, this is one that I started a water change on and just hurt too much, so I stopped. I'll finish it up probably tomorrow. So the shell dwellers are doing great, they're looking good. We've got some breathing going on, especially back there. The Neolamprolongus. Uh, Multifasciatus, that's a big boy right there. He's about two inches, but we got babies in the shells. Um, sold a lot of these guys off today. The Kerbensis are still in here. You can see them, they're all hiding back there. It's bad time for them. And of course, we got the Green Texas and more algae. Oof. Trying to get a good shot. A little angel up there, just some Danios and Black skirt tetras. Uh, still got the teen weenie Danios in here in John's tank. 
Uh, there's still a few of the blue eyed, red, something, something, and all the coolies. This tank's still covered in algae. We've got the rainbows down there. Uh, the 120 here. This one's changed, but this one always changes. So, We've got Oscars, Red Devils, Jack Dempsey's, Firemouth, uh, one lone uh, Nicaraguan female there. But uh, these guys are always hungry. They always want me to feed them, and I always tell them no. <laughs> and here I just got some uh, baby green Texas. So yeah, we got duckweed everywhere else. Get some water changes done. Get the hose out. So this is where we're at, everybody. I know it's not really much of a video, but uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. Kind of give you an update on the fish room. Since I've been hurt, you can tell there's algae growing everywhere in the front uh, glass. They are getting their water changes and that kind of stuff. It just takes me a lot longer. So instead of coming out here in one day and knocking them all out, it takes me about four or five days. Um, so, you know, I just kind of section off the room and do things that way. So I am getting better. I'm getting better soon. Uh, once we get all healed up, then we'll bring you all a bunch more videos. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all later. Peace.